Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We are here with Brandy and Stashi and we're going to demonstrate all the obedience commands your guy has learned here at school. But first we're going to start off by introducing the training equipment. Brandy's got a standard six foot web training leash and she keeps the bulk of that leash folded neatly in her right hand, which leaves her left hand free to make a correction. And the only correction we give here at school is a little tug and release on the training collar, which is the second piece of equipment. Now Stashi's been fitted with his very own training collar. I'm going to show you how to properly put that on and use it when he comes home on Thursday. And the first command we're going to demonstrate is healing. Healing is properly walking on the leash, always on your left, and the command is Stashi heal. Now at this point he's got a job to do, and that's to stay even with Brandy's left leg. No forging ahead, no lagging behind, and you'll notice whenever Brandy stops, Stashi's been trained to automatically sit and wait for the next command. You can see if Brandy speeds up, he should speed up. If Brandy slows down, Stashi should slow down. The important thing is though that he adjusts to your pace, and another nice automatic sit. So everything always starts and stops with Stashi on your left. Again, you can see the nice automatic sit there, and that's nice when you're walking him, stopping to cross the street, talk to a neighbor. Well, this obedience training is going to be really important for his, obviously, his on-leash manners, his off-leash manners, just being able to control him and have him be a better listener. Another nice automatic sit. Now the next command we're going to demonstrate is the sit stay. Brandy will use her left hand and the one word firm command to stay. Now with your stationary command, start off at roughly 20 to 30 seconds, working up to three minutes, but take your time getting to that three minute mark. When Brandy returns back to her dog, she's going to walk all the way around him. She's going to stop with Sashi right there at her left and then they get to take off healing again. When you're practicing with Stashi at home, we recommend that you practice every day, but keep your training sessions relatively short. 15, max 20 minutes is long enough. He's a young puppy, his attention span is limited, so make it short and sweet and fun. Another nice automatic sit. Brandy's gonna show you that stay command one more time. And the only little issue with Stashi that we've noticed is that his ability to hold sometimes these stays or his focus, like most puppies, again, is, is pretty short. If Brandy wants to call him out of that command, the command is Stashi come. This is the recall or the come command, and his job is to come back to his trainer and sit facing her. This is a good way, number one, to have your dog come back when called, and then two, learn to greet you properly with all four feet on the ground. We try to use praise here at school as our primary motivator. We try not to use food. We like to use praise instead. Brandy's going to show you that stay command again. You know, now if he gets up, Brandy, first words out of her mouth was no, which is a little verbal correction, and she goes right back to that command. So if he breaks a command, it's important that you go right back to it and finish it on your terms and the way it's supposed to be done. Brandy gets them back to heel position, very nice, and then they take off healing again. So again, the, the, the basic obedience commands that we've taught Stashi is, is proper leash walking, which is healing, the sit, the down, the stay, the distance down command, and the come command. And we're going to do this live and in person when he comes home. Nice automatic sit. Now the next command we're going to demonstrate is the down from heel position. Brandy uses her left hand and the one word firm command to down. Now with your down stays, they can last a little longer than your sit stays, but start off at 30 or 40 seconds, eventually working up to five minutes. And just like with the sit stay, when Brandy returns back to Stashi, she's gonna walk all the way around him as a knot of distraction. She stops right there with Sashi on her left, and then they take off healing again. And there is a fine line between too much praise and not enough. So you want to find that happy balance. Another nice automatic sit. Brandy's going to show you that down command one more time. Down and stay. One thing I didn't mention with our training commands, the only time you use his name in training is when you're healing with him or when you're calling him. Brandy's going to show you that come command again. 
That's Tashi. Come, use your leash as a guide if you have to. Remember, he needs to come back to you and sit. And then Brandy gets him back to that heel position, which again is on your left. And then they take off healing again. Nice automatic sit. Remember, it's down and stay. If he pops up, Brandy goes right back to that command. Remember, if he breaks a command or doesn't do it the way it's designed, you gotta finish it through. Have him hold it for a few seconds, and then Brandy's again gonna call him out of that. Let's Tashi come. He comes back and he sits. Very good. Brandy gets him back to heel position. Very good. And then the very last command we're gonna get ready to demonstrate is our down from heel is our down from a distance, I'm sorry. Brandy's going to have Stashi in a sit-stay. She'll take about three or four steps away from him. Use her right hand and the one word firm command to down. So have your dog in a sit-stay. Take a couple steps away. Use your right hand. And then the one word firm command to down. Very good. Nastasha's done a really nice job. I'm sure you're looking forward to seeing him come home in a couple days. We want to thank you so much for using Nora's Dog Training Company as your personal dog trainer. Remember, after he comes home, if you have any questions, concerns, or feel like you need more help, don't hesitate to call. Again, thanks again from Nora's Dog Training Company. Have a great day.